This man stuffing cash into a plastic bag is the second most powerful man in African football. This referee taking $600 was due to be officiating at the World Cup this month. These are just a few clips of hours of secret filming gathered over the past two years by controversial Ghanaian journalist Anas Arameo Anas. When this story comes, there's going to be a lot of trouble. His footage exclusive to BBC Africa Eye appears to show dozens of referees taking cash before games in both domestic and international tournaments and top officials also taking gifts. Ghanaians have been waiting for this investigation to blow for weeks. Why the tension is so high, it's football and it's Ghana and the people have cried for far too long. With the World Cup just around the corner, a storm is about to be unleashed. The scale of Anas's investigation is huge. Over 100 football officials and their bosses took cash from undercover reporters and over 150 separate payments in total. These money transfers occurred before Ghanaian Premier League, Champions League and major international games. Anas has never revealed his true identity. Some are very critical of his journalistic methods, in particular, the way he conducts his secret filming. What actually happens is that you are being entrapped into something that you have least idea about. And I think that it's really, really, really hurts people. Anas rejects the idea that his methods amount to enticement, saying those that took the money were not forced to do so. With football loved deeply across Ghana, many people have been rallying in support of his latest investigation, both on social media and over the radio waves. Football is a very beautiful game and we're all looking forward to this video from Anas and we just hope that it will clean our system. We think that things must change. Anas's secret filming includes explosive material surrounding the Wafu tournament in 2017, the largest international competition in the region. Referees took cash from Anas's men who posed as Ghanaian fans before numerous games, including on one occasion just hours before a match between Ghana and Mali. Match official Ebrima Jalo of Gambia was among those filmed. He took $500 and seemed to imply this kind of activity is common in the international game. The way we do it is happening everywhere. Yeah. I told you in the morning. It's not a matter of bribery or no. the way I think is trying to bribe me or try to bribe me. Yeah. It's not that good. What is important there is the relationship. Jalo told the BBC he had never been given any money to fix a match. He denied wrongdoing. It's against the rules of FIFA and the Ghanaian Football Association for referees or officials involved with the game to take any cash gifts. And NASA's investigation went beyond regional football and targeted a major international referee, Rangi Marwa, Kenya who was due to be running the line as an assistant referee at the World Cup in Russia. He was approached by an undercover journalist posing as a Ghanaian football official during the African Nations Championship. Marwa, sitting in a hotel room, took $600 in cash. I know that you are No, this is, thank you for the gift, but you know, this is... This is, this is, what is yeah. important is that friendship, getting to know each other. Yeah. Okay. FIFA says Marwa has resigned from the World Cup refereeing team. He told the BBC he denied any wrongdoing. Ultimately, the hundreds of dollars given to referees was relatively small compared with what a Nazi's undercover team handed to the most important official they targeted, Kwesi Inyantachi, the president of Ghanaian football and a major figure in football in Africa took a gift of $65,000 from Anas's reporters, believing they were meeting to discuss their prospects of a sponsorship deal. <laughs> Is that you even have something here for oh. shopping for now? Oh, okay. Shopping for now. Yeah, this, this one for two. All right, for thank two. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 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 Iantachi sits on FIFA's council and was appointed by the executive committee, one of the highest bodies in football. It is against the rules of FIFA 
to take any gifts of cash. Iyantachi remains in his position as head of GFA and did not respond to a BBC request for comment. FIFA told the BBC they were investigating the allegations. They said it was a priority for FIFA to protect the integrity of its competitions. What will this investigation mean for the officials and as filmed and the tournament he focused on? The future of West African football is now hanging in the balance.